What's going on y'all? Welcome back to Mommy and Decorate. My name is Ryan Michelle and in today's video I will be showing you guys a week in my life. Now every week is not like this but this week we did do all of this. I wanted to share with you guys my life, my family, my kids and I hope you enjoy. So today Lauren has an appointment at 1.20. Um, Lauren is wearing a size 12 to 24 months depending on the brand she is pretty big pretty long and her feet are even longer her shoe size is a size four she can even fit a size five but yeah and she actually hates getting dressed she hates putting stuff over her head and um yeah so i'm pretty much get I, she had a bath last night so all I have to do is change her and lotion her up really good. Her skin is very dry, so I like to use um, Aveeno Eczema Relief and mix that with Vaseline. Just my baby girl. She has an appointment today, and I think she has an ear infection. So we're gonna go and get that checked out. And I'm really not feeling it because with everything going on right now, it's just not safe out here in these streets. So yeah. I will let you know how everything goes. We are headed there right now. Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom. Are you ready to see the doctor? Mm -hmm. Are you ready to see the doctor? Yes. Yes. Okay, so I'm back. Now, Lauren does not have an ear infection thank god but she has so much wax buildup. now i never had this happen to any of my children my boys didn't have that so this is new to me so the doctor recommended that i could pick up buy something from the store i was like why can't you send it to walmart or the pharmacy so i can pick it up but it's okay i'd rather not sit in a pharmacy right now but um yeah so now i have to find some some drops to put in her ear to clean the wax out and plus her molars are cutting so that is why it seems like she's in like a lot of pain that's why i thought it was an ear infection she was like tugging her ear a lot so it's not an ear infection so yeah now i have to order something to clean her ears out now so today i will be going to um the commissary which is the grocery store and i will be going to the post office i thought i seen something but it's just a win so today um it is 1 18 and um i have no energy whatsoever to do anything to cook clean nothing but um 
I had two cups of coffee, still nothing. So I don't know. I don't know what it is. Um, yeah, so. So guys, I usually go grocery shopping once a week. This grocery haul was a bit bigger than the usual. Um, how much do you think I spent on these groceries? So right now I'm going to take everything out of the bags and show you guys what I got today. So on this grocery haul, we spent $250. Now, we do not spend $250 every week. It's usually between $100 and $150. I just had to get some extra stuff. Plus, we have a 10-month-old. And formula is not cheap. And I had to get wipes as well. Okay, so now I will be putting all of the groceries up. Another thing I wanted to mention, has anyone noticed that the grocery prices have went up? That is probably why my grocery receipt was so much higher than normal. But it's okay. I mean, I guess the stimulus check is supposed to cover all of that. But still, eggs are like $4 now. Hey 
guys so today is Wednesday and it is five o'clock and I'm about to start dinner and I usually like to start dinner between five and six so it'll be ready between six and seven and then bedtime so stay tuned so for tonight's dinner I'll be making super Toscana soup and this is actually my favorite soup to buy from Olive Garden so let me know in the comment section if you have ever made this soup at home. The recipe that I am using will be in the description box down below. So if you wanted to try to make that soup, I would highly recommend using this recipe. And also, this is not a cooking channel. So I will not be going into detail about every little thing that I do. I just wanted to share um, cooking with y'all on one evening. I do cook every night or my husband cooks or we order food. So, yeah. So I'm about to give Landon a bath and try to wash his hair at the same time. Let's see how that goes. So I just tried washing Lana's hair in the tub and he was not feeling it. So we're going to Something stick to the regular big hair and wash it in the sink. Yeah, he was like, no, this ain't gonna work. So instead of washing it, <laughs> we're just gonna put some conditioner in there and co-wash it.
Okay, I will not be showing you how I washed his hair and how I braid his hair. There is another video on my channel that you can watch where I am doing all of this. Now I will be washing my six year old's locks. His hair, it's been a minute since his hair has been washed and he needs a haircut. But with quarantine going on, that is not going to happen. If you are still here with me watching, I just want to say thank you for the support and watching my video. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And